In these examples, we look at how to use ratios to share quantities. For example, we can see here we've got eight coins. They're the ones in yellow. And we're going to split them up in the ratio five to three. Now in this case, it's quite simple. There's eight coins there. So we can easily group those into one group of five coins and one group of three. We can see we've split them up in the ratio five to three. What if it's not so simple though? What if we've got an amount that doesn't add up nicely to, in this case, eight? Say we wanted to split up $150 in the ratio of two to three. Maybe one person works two times a week and another person shares the job and works three times a week. So a bonus amount of $150 may need to be shared between them. The way we do it is we add up the amounts in the ratio, two and three. What we get when we add up two and three is five. So that tells us, if you like, the total amount of parts. We then divide $150 by the total number of parts, which in this case is five. So 150 divided by five is $30. We then distribute the money, in this case to the two people concerned. One person gets two lots of 30, which equals $60. And the other person gets three lots of 30, which is $90. If we've done it correctly, those two amounts should add up to $150. In this case, they do. What if we have to split up an amount using a ratio which is in three parts? Well, the process is exactly the same. Our first step involves adding together four, six, and five. When we do that, four and six is 10, and five makes 15. So the total number of parts is 15. We then divide 150 by 15. So we want to work out what each part is worth. This comes to $10. Now what we do is work out what each person gets out of the ratio 4 to 6 to 5. 4 lots of 10 is $40, 6 lots of 10 is $60, and 5 lots of 10 is $50. The way to check it, and if we've done it right, is 40, 60, and 50 should add up to $150, which it does.